99 times the All Blacks and the Springboks have done battle on a rugby field and today marks that 100th test match. It is a special day for more reasons than one but before we get into the action let's take a look at the two starting lineups for this momentous rugby day. Hello everyone and welcome back along to your home of rugby and yes the 100th test match between the All Blacks and the Springboks and of course it is rugby championship match as well which highly likely we could see one of these sides put that trophy safely away for another year. That of course is the All Blacks who just need the one solitary point from this match to secure the championship for another season. The Springboks however still have a chance they need a big result here denying the All Blacks of any points and of course grabbing the full complement themselves as well. Let's see how they do go but the starting lineups for tonight's clash will be as follows as we always do in the front row for the All Blacks. Joe Moody starts at loose head with Cody Taylor at hooker and Nipo Laulala standing on the tight head side up against the Trevor and Yukani, Bongi and Banambi and Franz Maholba at 1, 2 and 3. It is another epic battle. In the second row, Brody Retallick and Scott Barrett will go up against Eben Isabeth and Lud Diaga once more. A big battle between those four men. Very talented, very big and very, very aggressive as well. Moving into the back row, Akira Ioane gets the start at six. He'll partner Ethan Blackadder and Adi Savia through the All Blacks back row. Sia Khaleesi will start and captain the team once again on the blind side with Quagga Smith and Dane Vermeulen completing the forward pack. Into the back line, it's the former Hurricanes partnership of TJ Piranara and Bowden Barrett wearing nine and ten yet again. With the Springboks, it's Fuff de Clark and Andre Pollard who look to control this game through their play. Into the midfield is David Harvili and Rico Iwani going up against Damien Dierlendi and Lacanio Arm in 12 and 13. On the wings, left side, George Bridge and Michael Zola Mapipi. On the right, it's more excitement with Will Jordan and Sibu and Kossi. At the back, unchanged again, Jordy Barrett and Vili LaRue looking to set the stage alight in the 15 jumpers. Having a look at the bench for the two teams, it's the Triple T's for the All Blacks in the front row. Takiaho, Tui Nukuafi and Tuanga Fasi are the front row replacements. There's also another team as well, Tui Pelotu. She didn't see that one. It's the four T's in the two front and second row. It's the 2 2 for the back row. Weber, McKenzie, and Tupaya round out the bench. For the Springboks, Marks, Kitshop, and Kosh will be the front row. Mostert. Again, capable in the second and back row. Ben Staden in the big powerhouse back row position. Yankees and Yankees, that's Herschel and Elton. And the 23 will be France Stain for the Springboks. Here we go. Let's get things underway. The All Blacks, of course, will set things alight with the Haka to kick this matchup. 100 tests. Let's enjoy it. And here we go, ready for the 100th test. The Haka is complete. The two teams are ready. And Bowden Barrett kicks off this big test between the All Blacks and the Springboks here in Australia. What a place for it to be. Who would have thought we'd be at this sort of situation? But the fact we have rugby is a fantastic start. As Fuck the Clark has kicked long into the All Blacks half. And we have the first turnover of the match as the All Blacks run it back from just outside the 22. Here's Moody fighting a bit of room on the left hand side and George Bridge up towards Vanilla who he goes but he can't get past the experienced fullback. And the Springboks jumper and he's bundled his way into touch. It'll be a Springboks line out. Wongi and Manambi will be the one to throw. 
A full seven-man option taken. And oh, stolen by Barrett. That's a big play. Piranha straight out to Rico Iwani. Will Jordan looking to excite. Does nothing but knock the ball on in contact. Good strong tackle there from Delendi. And here's Pollard. Release. Looking to force his way through. Not very often you see him try that option. It's Fuff the Clark doing much the same. And Fuff the Clark goes down. Oh, that is a huge blow for the Springboks. The explosive little number nine will go off. And that will see Herschel Yankees come on in his place. Oh, that is a massive blow. So early in this game, we are all tied up, of course. Nil nil up just a handful of minutes. Bind. And TJ Piranara Sit. gets a new rival. And scrum half, Herschel Yankees on the field. And he sets the scrum for his first touch, and he carries as well. Straight into traffic. Oh, you are joking. You are absolutely not going to say Yankees has to go off as well. He does. Well, it looked like the left shoulder for Fuck the Clark. And take a look at the right shoulder of Herschel Yankees. And now we have Franz Stein coming Crouch. on in 23. Fine. The bench getting depleted early Sit. by the Springboks. 11 minutes in. We've probably wasted five or six of those on the entry so far. Here's Stein. Goes to Mpimpi. Oh, no, Mpimpi. Taken in a reckless tackle by Will Jordan. This game has just come to a standstill. Two injuries, now the high tackle. Remember, Stain's on the field, but they are instead going for a touch. And it's just short of the 22 for Andre Pollard. What a start to this match. Absolute mayhem. Nil nil the score. And now a great chance for Mbanabi to hit his man this time in the line out. And the Springboks to attack. Yes, Diaga does well. Pops it short to Stain. They put a little bit of room for Mbanabi down the short side. It is closed up pretty quickly by the All Blacks. Vermeulen. He'll play scrum half. Finds Ezebeth. Now gives a little bit of win. Pollard! He's looking for an early three. Not off the tee instead. From the boot. A drop goal from Andre Pollard. And it is successful, over. Three points to nil. Well, it's a very disjointed back line now, isn't it, for the Springboks? No to Clark, no Yankees. Instead, it is Franz Stein. His bone and Barrett goes very short and very flat as well. Clarkett Smith gets an absolute hospital of a kickoff. Over the ball quickly there was Artie Savia. Surprisingly, couldn't get the ball back. Springboks hang on nicely. Oh, it's a bit. Needed to shimmy that pass on very quickly. The All Blacks get numbers for a breakdown. Turnover. Rico Ioane, Savia, Will Jordan taking on the Pippi again. Will Jordan, two knock-ons in two touches. And the man we thought was going to be explosive and exciting has been gifted these chances to show his wares. And Mpimpi just drives on Ouch. right in the ribs Bind. of the ball. Just lodged down the hands Sit. of the exciting, normally exciting, Will Jordan. 23 gone, it's 3 0. Springboks lead the All Blacks. Stain waits his players to find position. Hit the line hard there was Del Endy. Finds Mpimpi. Oh, Makazola. Straight through three defenders, almost taking them all the way. But it will be another turnover. Piranara finds Taylor. Room to the left as Bonavera goes out to Bridge. Bridge again. One on one with Vinnie LaRue. And he's equal to it, if not better. The Springboks fullback taking Bridge into touch. Bridge showed him that outside channel. Tried to take him on with the fend. Unsuccessful. And now in Benambi needs to hit the target. He does. Diaga around the back of the corner there. Beautifully to Vermeulen and look off the back. Swinging around with statements thrown over by the All Blacks and now Bridge. Oh my goodness me. It's a comedy of mistakes by the All Blacks so far. They say you really struggle to get into this game. Springboks doing well to hold them out, but it could be. Another turnover, we won't get to see it. Instead, going back for the knock on by George Fine. Bridge on the left wing. Springboks Shit. struggling here to get out of their 22. 
struggling to retain possession, struggling to even get a piece of possession. They've lost the scrum now. Oh, that's not often you see that. Springboks backwards they go. Rico Yulani out wide to Will Jordan. He hangs on and Jordan to the corner. It is a race and he beats Mpimpi. Will Jordan scores and for all the errors, for all the mistakes of the All Blacks, they still find a way to put points on the board. Well, everyone moved. Seville, of course, he stayed on no one defensively on that short side. Bridge went into midfield. That created the numbers and the defense just did not add up onto the attack of the All Blacks. And that caused what we just seen, a huge, massive amount of space for Will Jordan, who with his third touch, finally manages to catch one. Here is Barrett. Oh, that is a great kick from Jordy Barrett. Just sliding to the right. Unsuccessful off the tee. Shake of the head. Unsatisfied with that one. 5-3 the score. 34 and a half minutes gone. What a game it's been so far. Injuries, errors. Blockbuster plays as well. Here's Moody. Fires into the first man in a green jumper he can see. Sets it up for the All Blacks to launch another attack. That's a nice shot on a boat of Barrett. Oh, that was beautiful from Piranara. But the support play, not good enough for the All Blacks. And Stain will get it back. Here's Kulisi. Good little run there by the captain. Finding some space to get the legs rolling. Stain, little chip into the All Blacks 22. Jordy Barrett takes it nicely on the bounce. And the All Blacks now have to work their way back. Way to La La La, back to Barrett. And he says, in this position, we don't want to play, thank you. Kicks it into touch. And we are done for the first half. There's not been a huge amount of points, but it has been a bit of an arm wrestle, as you'd expect, between these two sides. Two of the greats in world rugby. The All Blacks lead by two. It's not a great margin, but I'll be happy to come away with that try to Will Jordan on the right hand edge. It's been a mistake ridden one as well. You see, three handing errors to nil. Uh, the All Blacks will want to clean that up into the second half as well as putting more points on the board, finishing chances, and certainly keeping that ball in hand. For the Springboks, much to do as well. They've got to get the right part of the field. And as they kick off, Pollard, short, going to Taylor. That is not what they would have liked straight out of the whistle. You'd mentioned. Territory has got to play a key role here as Perinara finds it nicely to Bonham Barrett. Oh, he knocks it on. Two men in support. Perinara, he backed around and so was Bridge right there. Bonham Barrett just could not find them. What a play this was. Watch Perinara beat his man, dropped it off short. The cut line from Bonham Barrett and oh, Vinny LaRue. Take a bow. Great defense from the fullback. Gets again. He is shut Six. down. That All Blacks attacking left edge. It has really cost them many chances here. Is staying. Going to Nkosi. Shimmies his way. Can't quite get past Bridge. Springbok slow. Stain won't find it. Perinara will instead. Flat to Harvey Now wide to Barrett who's standing at centre. Oh, he had room there. Barrett didn't want to run. Instead found his captain, Adi Savio, who sets it up right in centre field. 30 metres out. Oh, Perinara driven backwards in the tackle. Struggle time now for the All Blacks. Blackadder at seven. Finds Barrett, who likes to play. Jordan's got a bit of space. Taylor offloads again. Blackadder more involved now. The All Blacks with the forward pack. This is eventually Nipo Lalala who takes it to ground. Here is another bad run, very poor from Perinara. And look at the Springboks go. A little bit of attack to run the top there from Pollard. Oh, and Kossi, Greg Gavis, he's got it. Sabo and Kossi in the 22. Now the Springboks are rumbling. Stain, oh, he killed that play flat. He really needed to pass it. Loses five metres, doesn't get the players on the front foot. And as a result, the All Blacks turn the ball over. Now they've got a chance. Ritalik, Ron Brady Ritalik. No one's beaten Villiers on the back until Brady Ritalik breaks hard. And Bonham Barrett will score. The All Blacks on the back foot turn defence into attack. And they go all the way. Something the Springboks just couldn't manage to do moments before. Oh, take a breath, everyone. Who expected Brody Retallick to hang on that long? He had so many options, so many black jumpers. 
Billy LaRue just could not contain them all. He gave the option to Ritalik to run, and he did as well. But once he found those wheels of Bowden Barrett, it was curtains for sure. He's one of the quickest men on the rugby paddock, found his way easily, untouched to the line. Here's his brother, Jordy Barrett, adding the extra two. The All Blacks lead now, stay comfortable at 12 points of three. What well, just about was, tell you what, that little chip over the top from this man here, Andre Pollard, that found Samuel Gossi, was absolute gold. Just could not finish a job. Black out of oh, that is a huge Jeez. hit. Look on your arm. Taking no prisoners. Could be a chance for a turnover here. Piranara's run again backwards on the carry, and that cost him. Here's Smith finding the pipi. Oh, there was room. Rico Yulani did so very well there to hang on. Could be another chance for a turnover. It is. Oh, the All Blacks get it back. Here's Will Jordan. Oh, another knock on from Will Jordan. My goodness me. He's having a shocker out there. One great moment. They seen him score the try, and I'm sure if he could have dropped any of these three out of four passes, the ones he has dropped are the ones you'd pick. But goodness me, anytime he gets hit, the ball Crouch. is instantly dislodged. Nine. And let's be honest, give the credit here to Marco Zorlim and Pimpi, who has put on some punishing plays. Speaking of punishing plays, that is what the Springboks back can do. Stain goes to Pollard. Oh, he can't quite get away from Rico Yulani. Stain again. Oh, you've got to be careful of that. Franz Stain, he's in danger again. Backwards they go. And without the ball, they go as well. Piranara pops it back. Yuani to Taylor. And just look at that. Police. The difference of your forwards running onto the rock instead of having to back round, go through the gates. Makes a massive difference as well to being able to retain possession. But oh, hang on. I talk it up and the All Blacks lose the ball. Stain. Oh, he's got to pass it more here. He really Police. has to pass it more. Waits for it to be. He might not pass, or he does. Quagga Smith, all oh, picked up. Driven back by Rico Yolani. Springboks do well to retain. 70th minute is about to tick over. It's, that's a better run there from France Stein. Vermeulen tries to replicate. Le Cagno on, on the cut. Brilliant. Sabo and Cossi. One on one, the burn. Oh, flies to it. Sabath, who's a minute short. Oh, that is brilliant from South Africa. Stein, Mahalba, and Cossi. Police. Driven to ground, good defence, close to contact by the All Blacks. Here's Kulixi, shows it, goes around the corner, Andre Pollard, it's a try! Springbok score, and this one is far from over. Oh, they can really set the world alight when they want to play the Springboks, and we won't get to see the best of it. Sibu and Corsi, brilliant when he's had the chances. But this from Captain Kulisi beats his man, draws in two defenders and the fullback. Oh, magical, magical work from the South Africans. They really have had their moments in this match. The finishing, though, that we finally saw on that occasion has often let them down tonight. And with six minutes to play, we have a three-point ball game, a two-point ball game that could be won with three points. That's where I was going with that one. 12 10 the score. Penalties, drop goals, you name it, they are all options. As we head into the final five minutes of this test, the 100th between the All Blacks and the Springboks. And we could be in for an early turnover here. All Blacks, a big chance now to put this one to bed. Black Adam looks out left side. It's again Bridge, nowhere to go. And Corsi over him this time. Nice. Easy defensive work for the winger. Short to Ritalik. And the All Blacks battle hard, winding down the clock. Maybe a drop goal from them. Maybe they take it all. Even a penalty. It's, that is going to be a yellow card. And it's going to be Franz Mahalba. He goes to the bin. Khaleesi, well, the dreams, the high hopes of nicking this one at the death have all but departed the Springboks captain. And Jordy Barrett will look to have this final say.
80 minutes on the left side. Barrett strikes it perfectly. And Johnny Barrett sets the All Blacks to victory. 15 points to 10. They take it over the Springboks. There goes the whistle. No more time. What a fight back though by the Springboks. A low scoring game like this. One try can make such a difference. And one man we will speak a lot about is Will Jordan. He took his chance beautifully, but had a real shocker out there as well. The set piece so important. Winning the scrums, the lineouts proved difficult as well. 15-10, the full-time score tries to Will Jordan and Bowden Barrett. Jordy Barrett with a conversion and a penalty goal for South Africa. One man, one man did it all. Andre Pollard, a try, a conversion, and of course, that opening, three points, the drop goal. Full-time stats. Well, they tell a bit of a story here, didn't they? We talked about territory and how South Africa needed more of it. They did. They got over the half. They really did have a better second 40 minutes, but they just could not put those final plays. The little touches at the end, the big break, the chip from Pollard, regained by Nkosi. I thought that was a turning point in the match where they didn't put the points on the board. That could have proved costly, and ultimately it did prove the ultimate cost for the Springboks. That is it from me today though, as Rugby Championship rolls on. Following this one, of course, we will have the Wallabies and the Pumas and of course, a repeat of this weekend's matches all again for the next one as well. Another chance for the Springboks to get some redemption. And what is going to happen between Australia and the Pumas? Do the Argentinians find out next time for that one? Until then though, thanks for tuning in and I hope you enjoyed the matchup. I'll see you next time. Take care.